I'm Mike Vanderstein, the mayor of the city of Sheboygan, and thanks for being here today to learn more about this incident. First of all, I'd like to begin with an invocation that's going to be delivered by Pastor Michael Thomas. Michael? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the God that you are. Lord God, um, we just ask that you would guide our hearts and our minds during this time lord we pray that you would bring healing and peace and understanding to the family that lost their life god we pray that you would bring discernment and wisdom to the police officers and all that are involved lead us by the power of your holy spirit and help us to do your will and bring glory and honor to your name heavenly father we pray that you would do only what you can do god we are counting on you we are trusting and we are depending on you we love you, and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Thomas. Early this morning, the Sheboygan Police Department responded to a call for disturbance on the south side of Sheboygan. Unfortunately, this call ended up in the loss of a life. So our heart goes out to the family that, that lost someone very important to them. And I'm here, like all of you, to learn more about uh, this situation. And uh, now I'd like to bring up Chief of Police, Chris Domogolski, to give us some information uh, as much as he can. Chief. Hi. <clears throat> Today, Thursday, July 2nd, at approximately 5.50 a.m., the Sheboygan County Dispatch Center received a 911 call from a citizen who reported that a male armed with two knives was running at a female in the area of 15, 15th in Indiana. An officer in the area was dispatched to respond. Upon arrival, the officer attempted to engage the subject in conversation from across the street, at which time the subject charged at the officer while armed with two dangerous weapons. The officer attempted to disengage by retreating backwards and displayed his taser. The officer ordered the subject to stop and continued to retreat while attempting to deploy his taser. The subject continued to chase the officer forcing the officer to transition to his firearm and discharge his firearm at the subject. Life-saving measures were attempted by a responding officer and the Sheboygan Fire Department, but the subject died at the scene. The female victim was transported to a local hospital where she was treated and released. The officer has been with the Sheboygan Police Department for two and a half years and has been placed on administrative leave. We will be releasing additional information regarding the officer in the next couple of days. The Department of Justice will release further information regarding the deceased after consulting with the family. The investigation is being conducted by the Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office, the Wisconsin State Patrol, and the Department of Justice Office of Crime Victim Services um, responded to assist. I offer my sin sincere condolences to the family of the deceased, as well as to the family, or I'm sorry, as well as to the Sheboygan community. I understand the impact and the trauma these events cause uh, on the community. Um, I I'm hopeful that we can be patient and work through it together. I understand that there's lots of questions yet to be answered. Um, I can't stress enough that while everybody wants more information and has questions that they need answered at this time, the investigation is in its very, very early stages. Um, and we need to be patient while the DOJ works to gather all of that information and analyze it and go through it. It's the Department of Justice's policy to try to um, turn these investigations over to the district attorney within 30 days. And it's my hope that they'll be able to meet that timeline in this case and we will work to um, release as much information as we go along as we can. Thank you. Chief, any member of the man who was killed said that he was... I'm yeah. sorry, we're not accepting any questions. We're only going to give this information until the investigation is finished. And at this time, I'd like to bring up our president of the Common Council, Ryan Sorensen, for a few words on behalf of our city council. Thank you, Mayor Vanderstein. Um, my name is Ryan Sorensen. I am the president of the Sheboygan City Council. Um, as this investigation into the tragedy that occurred this morning progresses, 
I want everybody to know that the council will ensure that this process is fair, equitable, and addresses the questions of our community. Um, I'll reserve any comments on the events that have transpired until the investigation is fully concluded. Um, with that being said, I must speak to the pain and anguish that our community um, is dealing with with this tragedy, and particularly the black community as well. Sheboygan and our nation have seen the tragedies of George Floyd's death perspire across the nation. And the last five weeks have brought into stark contrast the reality that people of color face every single day in our community and across the nation. As president of the Common Council, it is my firm belief that there is no higher priority than our city than addressing these issues. We must, conf we must confront these problems and we must all live to our core values of respect and accountability. And we must make it clear that black lives matter in our community and every community. The challenges that we face go beyond Sheboygan alone, but we must do our part. This last year, I've been part of a broader community coalition convened by Common Council Vice President Marilyn Donahue for the sole purpose of creating a Sheboygan that is welcoming and opening to everybody, regardless of race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender, or religion. I look forward to continuing this work and ensuring that it results in real tangible outcomes. We stand at a unique moment in our history that is transformative of change. With honest reflection and thoughtful action, we can make Sheboygan a model for what must be done and work towards a more just and equitable community. In closing, my thoughts and prayers are with the family of the man who was lost today and all those community members as we process this tragedy. Thank you. That will conclude our press conference for the day. Thank you very much for your time and for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you.